Welcome to another segment of the Word for Today. And the Word for Today is predestination. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 5 tells us, Having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. The Miriam Dictionary, Webster Dictionary, states that predestination means the doctrine that God, in consequence of his foreknowledge, of all events infallibly guides those who are destined for salvation. There are many who believe that it makes no sense what choices you make because before you were born, your fate was already sealed. God decided who will be saved and who will be lost. Is this true? Firstly, foreknowledge and predestination is not one and the same. God knowing the end from the beginning does not mean he determines how we live or the choices we will make. That's important. Secondly, the predestination spoken of has to do with outcome and not process. Follow me now. In other words, the outcome of not choosing God is predestined to happen this way. Or the outcome of not choosing God has a predetermined outcome or predetermined end. Ephesians 1 verse 5 tells us, Having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. Firstly, it is saying that God had a plan for all mankind. The plan was that fallen mankind could again become children of God through Jesus Christ. Revelation 13 verse 8 gives us an, a little bit more understanding. It says, And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the word. That's the point I want you to focus on. God's plan for Jesus to come was before earth was even created. It was predetermined that if man chose to sin, Jesus would come and die. It was also predetermined or predestined or predestinated that those who accept Jesus would live. It was also predetermined or predestined that those who chose to align themselves with the devil would die. It is about outcome and not process. If you jump up, you will come back down. I can predestinate that because of cause and effect. Gravity. God does not predestine the eternal destiny of each man. Impact point, follow this. Man by his own choices determines his eternal destiny. Not God. Galatians 6 verse 7 and 8 gives us a good idea. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. The word for today, predestination.